Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. In previous videos, we showed how to do an end splice and an eye splice, which are very handy. But today, what we're going to do is show you how to attach two ropes together with a splice, rather than just tying a knot, maybe a square knot or a surgeon's knot, we're going to show a short splice, which will be seamless, or a long splice, which is used for something that has a heavier load and you'll want to have more friction in between the two ropes. So here we go. First thing that we're going to do is just prepare the ends. So we're gonna unfray our rope so that we have the three strands coming out. We'll do that with both ropes. We want to have the loose strands about the same length on each one. So we'll say that we're going to do just about that much so that as they're connected together, they'll be about the same distance. And in preparing our ropes, we're going to use some electrical tape on the ends to keep those strands from fraying out. So let's take a minute and do that. So I'll start just by taping the ends. And I like to tape the same direction as the strand is twisted, just to keep it tight. Go to the second. And just for variety, we will tape the second rope with yellow, which won't really matter because they're on two working ends of the rope, but I got yellow, so we're using it. Now we're ready to go. So we've measured the distance. We're gonna unwrap our strands about the same length. Just work them together, making sure that they are each separated by a strand on the other side. So that's easily done. You can see we're ready to go, so. The first part of this is really not difficult, but could be a little tricky. So we're just gonna follow this working end up here. Open that up. Put our strand through. Give it a little twist. Now we're gonna work this direction. So this is our rope that we're working on. We're going to go under over and under. Notice I'm keeping pressure here. And the same thing here, we're going to go over and under. We're just working our way down this side of the rope. So we know that we're right because we don't have any strands that are both coming out of the same place. So we'll continue to work that down. We'll go one more on this side, and then we'll jump to the other side to make sure we're started well. And then we'll continue down until our splice is done. Over and under. I like to give it a little twist to make sure it's tight. You can see that we're, we don't have any coming out of the same slot. So that's a good start on this side. Now we can turn our attention to the other side. I'm going to turn it around just because that's easier for me to work. And this is our first one. So this is our working part. We're gonna start here, go over and under. So our first one will go over and under that. Give it a little twist to tighten it up. Gonna turn from the working side over and under. One more turn over this one and under that one. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, we've got a nice start. I'm going to go ahead and work my way down this rope and finish this side. Rotate it over, under. Over this one, under that one. Keeping that nice twist on that. We'll continue down the rope. So you can see once you get the initial one started, it's not very complicated as you continue on down and you'll start seeing you have a nice weave on your rope behind you. Keep it twisted up tight. You can see that we're still even coming out. We don't have two of these strands coming out of the same place. So we'll see if we can get one more strand out of this, one more weave out of this. Now we'll turn our attention to the other end. Turn it back around. We'll finish the side here that's got the white tape on it. Keep rotating it. I like to rotate towards me. It's just uh, something that I've used as a pattern over the years as we've done this. And it keeps me consistent. So I'm always looking for the next place to go over and under. finger in there. Okay, we'll see if we can get another weave in here. And I would say that that's pretty good. So now we've got a nice short splice and I'm going to just move my table away. You can finish rolling that out locking that fiber together, and now you've got a beautiful splice that will be as strong as the rope. If you want additional strength, just increase the length of your splice. I think that you can do this easily with a little bit of practice. And I hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.